My name is Bafi Robinson, also known as Kamikaze. I'm currently Dagnum and Redbridge's captain, and I'm also a rapper. I'm Medellito, also known as Don E, footballer slash rapper, and I play for Willing United. I think what the FA Cup means, just in terms of English football, is the chance at glory that maybe you wouldn't normally get. It's an even playing field, one game that can take you to, to Wembley. As a player, it's just something that you always want to be a part of. I think doing music and doing football for me has simply just been a privilege. It's two things that a lot of people care about, a lot of people live for. How would I describe myself as a musician? Pure vibes. If I was to describe my music in the most simple way, it would be bars. Whatever mood I'm in, I'm going to deliver that, no matter what. Yeah, I'm excited to meet Cam today because we come from similar backgrounds and talking about football, he's had his experiences in the FA Cup. We can both reflect on having FA Cup runs from, from lower positions. It's a very good first-hand experience that we can both share. Yes, my D. Yes, Cam. What's cracking, bro? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm blessed, bro. I'm blessed. Good to see you, man. Nice to see you too. You ready to get into this? Yeah, I'm ready to get into this. Let's so. go. As a non-league player, how important was the first round proper to you? Aside from bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we love bonuses. That's what we play for sometimes. But no, the first round's important because, you know, you always want to... You want to stay in the FA Cup. Yeah. You know, it's, it's magical because you... Then you got like that momentum thinking you're going to the second round and you mm. probably beat someone. You always want to play... The first thing about the FA Cup, you always want to... You think about the third round because you want to play like you, you know play a prem team. Prem team might be your only chance team. to. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Um, no, it's, it's very important. I think it is important, like because as a non-league player, you're not as much in the spotlight, and I feel like when you do draw a team, even if it's like one league up, being in League Two is deemed to be successful, whereas maybe being a National League player is less successful. Mm. And if you can put yourself up against even one division above, two divisions above, when obviously like. League One coming. There's some big teams in League One. You could play Portsmouth away, somewhere like Good that, draw. that maybe you wouldn't play at if you was in the non-league for your whole career. So I feel like it is important because it lets you showcase yourself and probably prove the level that you're at if you haven't been able to do that yet. Who are some of your favourite artists that you listen to on match day? <sighs> I'm going to say the cliche ones. I like Meek Mill. Oh. Everyone ever, you know everyone plays Dreams and Nightmares before. Yeah. They, lots of teams play that one. I like Meeks. Meeks Money. From Manchester? Yeah, I like, yeah. I like playing Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I like That's DMX. DMX? Yeah. What uh, tune? X. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I'm going to say, you know what I'm saying? You know the song. But yeah. I like the songs. I feel like in, in the dressing room, you have to cater for everyone. Everyone. So you start yeah. with a bit of house, because I'm the DJ. Are yeah. you DJ? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. But I get what you're saying. You have to cater. So some lads want a bit of house, get it going, early vibes, gaffer talks, amp it up a bit. I play We Them Boys quite a lot. I, I, I ask the lads what they want to hear. Um, and it's generally speaking, rough rap. That's what I call it. What are the similarities between both as a creator and a player? You being creative on the pitch is just you expressing yourself same way you express yourself in the studio. Mm. So on the pitch, I express myself by doing skills or doing things do what you see, you feel. Feel, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Same as when you're in a studio, you just let go, you're free. Like there's no there's no pressure, there's no nothing. You're just yeah, yeah, yeah. you and your thoughts. I think the industries are quite similar. You know, if you looked at a record label and then you looked at a football club, you have people to answer to in all of them, as in like when you go up, you have to abide by your contracts too. And then, like you said, the freedom comes in the creative space, which is the studio or the pitch. I feel like probably music is more free yep. because you have different ways of expressing yourself. Whereas with football, you are a little bit more governed by, if the manager sees you doing mad things, like you're trying to flip flap, then a step over, you lose the ball, they counter attack, they score. Next yeah. time you do it, you might get dragged. I don't yeah. think you can get dragged from the studio. For real, you can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> yeah, man. It's a crazy one, because I remember when um, playing Newport, mm. And um, obviously they, they knew that I was doing music when I was at Cambridge at the time. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, you know, maybe Don is doing music. and mm. that. So they feel like they want to beat you so yeah, yeah. So they can play your song at the end of the game. I've had that. Yeah. Solid Hull away, I've had that. See, so you yeah, know yeah. what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. So it's like... It's mocking you. Yeah, mocking you kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. How do you feel when that happened? 
how did I feel? I yeah. think is I knew the guy who'd done it, so I kind of like I kind of allowed it, and I know that he's actually a fan of my music. Yeah. But the other thing that I think about the point um, is I feel like it's you're in more of the public eye and more, being judged more as a footballer. I feel like the Roman lover rapper is like comes with a lot more freedom. You can get away with a lot more, whereas football's image is one that people hold high. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Footballers are supposed to be the the ideal of a person. So like uh, I said an example once where. Say a rapper goes to a club, leaves with a girl, he gets caught doing whatever, whether it be, I don't know, drugs, whatever, makes a song about it, that's a hit, everyone praises him. Footballer does it, he's front page of whatever tabloid and, and he's yeah. getting taken to the cleaners for it. So I think they do both come with different responsibilities. Do you find your football career a good material for your lyrics? It can be, it can be, because I feel like when you love something, like I love football, you love football, you become emotionally attached to it. And all of your best music, or most of it, will come from some emotion, whether it's happiness, whether it's sadness. And there have been times where I've been sad because of football, and I've taken it to the studio and turned it into something relatable, something that people can vibe with, something that also releases my stress. So in that sense, I think it is definitely, yeah. Do you have any memories playing against me? It's the only one I can think of playing against you. And it was last year in the FA Cup, before the first round, we played Wildstone, yeah? Me and you was both on the bench. Yeah. Right, and we were warming up, and we were talking about music the whole time. <laughs> I think Josh was there. I yeah. think he was there, we was, we, was, we was running down the line, and then I got called on, you was one nil up. We had 10 men, and we scored two in the last 10. Yeah, I remember that, and you knocked us out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if it was on a bench. <laughs> that was the main one I could think of, maybe Barnet Dagnum, maybe? I can't think of, I can't think of any, you know? Because even when I, we played these lot, I, I was on the bench at yeah. that time as well, so... Yeah. But the thing is, I can say this, yeah? A lot, of, a lot of players I played with who I respect say you're a baller, so I don't need to see it anywhere else. I've, no. I've seen it a couple of times myself in person. No, I appreciate that, I appreciate that. I've heard some of your music as well and... Uh, Not a baller, though. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no I'm joking, you're... I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 I said you're a baller. <laughs> yeah, no, cool. no I've, I've seen you play, you're good. Doing both ball and music requires immense dedication. How have you navigated giving both things enough attention? If you love both of them, mm. I will say this, if you, if you love both of them and you, you enjoy doing it, yeah. like, it's not a problem. Yeah, yeah. You, you find you time give, for the things yeah, you, you love, you find, yeah, yeah, you find time for it. You, like, you give it everything you've got. And Do you feel like discipline from football helped you in music at all? Do you know like the, the regimented training, the dedication to it with football, probably came before music. Mm. Did it help you when music became more of a career? Not necessarily. No? No. How about for you? I feel like it did because it made me treat a passion like a job. You know, obviously the passion and, and, and the vibe that you get in the studio and stuff and that, that's really nice when it's organic, but sometimes for me, with the time that I have, like with, with having a child and that now especially, like I have to be regimented with. If I'm going to studio, I can't sit there for three hours doing nothing. But that, I feel like that mentality comes from the this, this strict regime of football, like every day, you go train, you go, do you know what I mean? Those kind of things, I feel like they did definitely help. At what point in your career did you discover your talent for both football and music? 12. 12? 12. 12. That young? Because I was playing for Leicester. Oh, so, no, football, yeah, but music? No, 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 music, yeah. Wow. And, and I spat a bar, I was, I, I, no, I was 13. 13. It was the first day of year nine. We went to a big boys playground. I went to an all boys school. So man used to just, every, everyone get the phone, phone out, spray your bar then. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, okay, this is my chance. This is my one chance. If I fuck this, it's done. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Those kind of, yeah. And I'm there, and I'm there, and I'm there, and I'm there. Spat my bar, got wheeled. First time I ever got wheeled. And I was like, okay, I can do this. How did that feel? Oh, big bro. Man, was, you, know, you know the night when the big boys are slapping you on the back, like, yeah, 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 yeah. spit that bar again. I'm like, okay, I'll do it again. And that was when the, the rapping thing came in. Obviously, everyone knew me already. You know when you play ball at school yeah. and you're good? Good. And you play with the lads who are older than you anyway. So it's like, they know you for that. For me, it was later. For music, um, from about the age of 16, 17. This is when the same thing, I think you, you, you was earlier, but this is the time when Graham was Graham was like, there. Yeah, Graham, Graham was, the, was thing. the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like everyone, everyone would spit a sixteen and the same. Even thing. man who didn't spit had eight. 
yeah, eight. You know the, the little reload, eight, the reload. Yeah, thing. repeat. Yeah, yeah. 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 One, one line flow. So yeah, at, at fifteen, sixteen. Oh, yeah, that's when I got into. Was music. you called Donny then as well, or did you have a different name? Nah, yeah, it was a crap name. That's what it means, man. What's it? Because I'll be honest, my first rap name was Little Robin. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is me. This is me. This is me. You have an open floor to say yours. It can't be that bad. Um, it was it was um because I was playing football. And I used like they say I used to be like I used to shift quick with the ball, so it was just the it was shift us, and just shift, shift us. us. Yeah, shift Not us. Not shifter. Nah, shift us. Yeah. I think that's quite good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why do you think football typically means so much to music artists? I don't know. Everything just is intertwined. Yeah. Yeah. You can see like certain footballers. Mm. The egos wanna, that come with it too. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they want to be rappers yeah, just yeah. by their fits and the way they yeah. the walk, their swag. It started in America though with basketball, basketball man. Like the, yeah. that, the, the, the cultures intertwining like that, mm. I feel like that's reciprocated here with football and rap. You see, but you see, the, you see the drip in the Champions League? Yeah. I think that's as far as it's going to go. You think? I feel like, you know, like Off White with AC and like, I can't remember the other ones, but there's, there's a lot now where men are turning up on their plane on the runway. It's almost like a fashion show. True. So like, I feel like, that is as far as they'll let it go. Yeah, like you said, a lot of a lot of teams now. But managers can though. True. You see Pep, he's got a bit, he wears his, he wears his he's stuff. He's got a bit. What do other artists think of your achievement in football? They rate it. I'm not going to lie, I've never not had love for, for football. Like, the opposite way around. So when I'm in a studio and that, like, they're very interested in it. I feel like, you know the thing I said, the similarities between them, even going back to the playground, yeah? If someone was a hard spitter, you knew them. If someone yeah. was hard at football, you knew them. Yeah. Mutual respect. So, like, to be doing both, I feel like a lot of rappers probably wanted to play ball. Probably did for a certain amount of time. And then they come to that crossroads that you mentioned earlier about choosing. And they went, nah, I can't be asked to do a scholar. I want to earn some peace. I want to do the music thing. Yeah. Or it became the, the easier option. So I feel like within music, like, I've only ever had, like, like love from artists because they see that yo, it must have been difficult, or it must be difficult to still maintain it too. So I think, I think like, I've always felt love for it. Do you ever feel like music has been a talking point amongst your managers and fans? Yeah, with, um, with when, it's, when it's going badly, that's the only time it's really ever talked about. Like, when, when, when it's going well, no one's ever saying to you, oh yeah, like, well done with the music and that. It's when, I think it's especially when I was younger, maybe like when I first broke in, people want you to just be Focused, especially within the fans. Like I used to get people tweeting me saying, "Oh, you think you're a bad boy? You think this?" Like, and it was never really the case. If it, it, like I like I said to the managers when they said the same thing, if you listen to the music, it's not that. So you're just using this as an excuse. Like, if I'm not playing well, it's because I'm not playing well. Yeah. I'm not trying to not play well. No one's ever doing that. Um, and I think like it is a bit of a cop out. And like you said, what I said before about the golf thing, like it is just the same thing. It's something that I have a passion for that I want to do in my spare time. And I don't see it being scrutinised in any other places. So, why in football? Do, have you had similar things with, with fans? Especially yeah, fans. With, I think yeah, fans. Fans, fans. Um, yeah, fans. Same thing that like you said with managers. I just, um, I don't take no notice of it. Yeah. What I do, what I do in my spare time. Like again, we 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 follow strict rules when we're at football. So mm. uh, when I'm whenever I'm at football, I'm doing everything right. But what I do in my spare time is what I do in my spare time. So yeah, like, like any yeah. Other job, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah. and uh, I don't take no notice of the fans or anything because I I just feel like I'm enjoying what I'm doing and that's a hobby for me. So and yeah. it's never gonna stop. So in follow up to that, yeah, do you think that's changed over time? Has the sport become more appreciative of players as individuals? Mm, yes, as in a sense, you can you see more players doing more content now, even yeah. through their Instagrams. You see, yeah, yeah. we can top players like Kareem Benzema, even some of the Chelsea boys. I feel as if like it needed the top players to do it first for then it to filter down. So like, even if you're not talking about like music or, or fashion, like you see people like Calvert-Lewin doing fashion, even what Marcus Rashford done, yeah. like those actions that needed to be taken were taken by a footballer. And I feel like that is where Football has grown. People are allowed to speak like that now. Before, like, you know, I talk about the regiment inside of football. Like, you were supposed to think one way, do one thing, 
that's kind of getting broken down. Yeah. And I think it's really good because it shows players in and, as more than just players. They're people. There was people before they played and them being people now while they play is a good thing. Yeah, as you can see, like a lot of footballers being on the front page of GQ and Vogue and all these yeah, things. Yeah. So yeah, this one's a good one. Mm. Have you ever had um, conflicts of interest as a pro? Like there might be a match on the same day as a gig. Yeah, yeah. There you go, you went to the gig, innit? No. He was injured, innit? It was a madness. <laughs> it was a madness. I've, I had a few, so yeah. I've had to, I had a couple support slots on tours. Uh, I think I got offered, if I'm right, Devlin and one other person, uh, Ocean Wisdom, offered their support slots on tour and I'm looking at the fixture, I'm looking at March, I'm looking at Thingy and I was like, I can't do that. I had another one with a band called Easy Life who were from Leicester, who like, I've known for a long time. Similar thing, and I was like, I can do like two of the dates. I'm getting a train to Bristol on like a Wednesday because it's the day off, getting the train back for training. But the maddest one was about four years ago. I had like a, I had an offer I couldn't refuse. You know Outlook in Croatia? No, I don't know. Right. I've never said this publicly. I've said it to people, but I've said it. So the lineup was me, can't remember the, the order, but me, Lady Leisha, JK, Koji Radical, Ocean Wisdom, j -Hus. That was the stage. Uh, playing in Croatia on a Sunday? Set no, yeah, Sunday night. And I'm like, I have to go. I have to go. But we got training Monday. We got Barrow away. Ooh. Barrow away on the Saturday. And bear in mind, we're like nearly bottom of the league. We ain't won a game, I don't think. Away from home anyway. We win one nil, and I've got a flight from London the next morning. I'm supposed to be getting a flight back Sunday night. So I'm thinking, it's calm. It's calm, I get the flight back Sunday night. They then message me on the day saying, Sunday night flight is cancelled. It's now Monday. I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> no. We win the game, Gaffer gives us Monday off. And nothing ever had to be done about it or said or anything. But I flew out the next morning, played the lineup. Biggest, biggest crowd I've ever played, biggest show I've ever played. And I came back for training on Tuesday. During that performance or when you, when you got there, how did you feel? Do you know, after the win at football, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm on a roll. I've just got flown out. I'm, I'm doing like, I feel like I'm doing like performer life, like backstage. I met Jay Huss. Jay Huss, one of my favorite rappers. I met Jay Huss. I was like, yo, he's a blessed guy. Yeah. In the backstage tent, yeah, 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 little drink, yeah, 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 yeah. Went on stage and I seen the crowd and I was like, oh, there's like more people here than come watch me play at football. And I, I guess it's sometimes like a game, you know, like when you're having a good game, yeah. the time just goes by and you just keep doing good things and you keep thingy. And I'm getting the crowd moving, catching drops, I'm doing all these things that I thought I was going to do. And it just went past and then I come off stage and I was like, wow, that was it. I mean, it was fly back to football and training on a park again. But no, no disrespect <laughs> to Daniel's training ground. I know that May and Baker's not a park, but it, yeah. So what about you? Have you had anything like that? Um, you must have, because you've had, you've had shows. Like, you've, had, you've had shows. Yeah, but I've had um, a few shows. I've done wireless. Yeah. Yeah, wireless. Um, well done, man. Thank you. Well done. No, well done to you. That's a, that's a, that's a big lineup, you know. Don't let no I was the first that. person on it, though. I was at the bottom of it, but I was there. No, but still, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a big lineup with big people. Yeah, uh, um, I've done wireless. I've done a few shows. I've been on shows with Niska, a couple of French artists. Okay. Um, yeah, quite a few things. But there was times when I couldn't. There was shows in Dubai and like you know, um, a beef and that I couldn't go to because it was dropped pre-season. Pre-season, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just around the same time as pre-season. But I'm itching. I want to go, but you know, I can't do nothing about it. Mm. You, you're like under contract at football, so. Was it was it a big bag? Yeah, it was a big bag. It was it was one. <laughs> but you can't do it. You yeah, still can't do it. Still can't do it. I was I was tempted. Yeah, but take the bag, pay the fine. That's a good one. I didn't actually think of that. <laughs> take you the know? bag, pay the fine. <laughs> I didn't actually think of that. But yeah, like you know, like when I'm my boy said, nah, they're about to book the ticket for us. They said we got you like yeah. plane tickets and you're gonna stay in this hotel in Dubai. I was thinking, oh, thinking. Just it's too good not to, you think, in your head, but then you have to come back down to it. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, but yeah. yeah, like, I missed out on a lot of big bags. You ready? We're going into some quick fire questions. I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's go, let's go. All right, cool. P 
pick one rapper you'd like to have a kick about with? Wow, that's random though. Do, do they have to be able to kick ball or just someone like... Because I could just say Jay-Z and he, he can't kick a ball straight or anything, but I just get to <laughs> chat to him. Yeah, that's still a kickabout. You can have a chat with him while you're having a kickabout. Yeah, yeah, I'll pick him, yeah. Jay-Z? Yeah, yeah, Jay-Z, why not? What about you? Kodak Black. Kodak Black? He yeah. seems like a joker. Yeah, that's why I'll pick, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. we'll have banter. We'll where, have do you, where do you think he play in your five-side team? In goal. In goal? Yeah, Kodak Black's in goal. He's not, he's Kodak not. Black's in goal? Yeah, he's in goal. Fair play, fair play, <laughs> fair play. I'd have to put Jay-Z up front. I feel like he, if I said in goal, he'd just leave. <laughs> or buy the pitch or something and, and tell me to get off it. <laughs> Pick one baller you'd want to take to a studio session with. Alan St. Maximo. <laughs> I understand. I understand. I don't, think, I don't even think I need to say anything. Yeah. I feel like I feel like he probably he probably get excited and drop a bar. Got Gucci headband on, drip tight. It's got to be someone with flair in it. You can't have someone. Yeah. I got one. Who's the? Who's the? Who's the? Who's the? Who's the? Who's the AC Milan. Um, Raphael Leal. Yes, that's one. Because he, he does he does music himself. Does well. he do music? Yeah, he does music. Yeah. But you know he's actually good. He's actually good. So I'll, I'll check I'll him take, still. I'll I take him still. And I, and, I, and I see what you mean. Flary, like he, he could probably. He's do got the you know yeah. he's got the swag. He's got the yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. FA Cup appearance at Wembley Stadium, or headline show at Wembley Arena. <sighs> Think about it. Everyone coming for you. Listen, everyone coming there for you. It's different when you're in a team. Mm. Like collectively. I might like, play dead as well. And we just yeah, play. and you no know. remembers me. But remember, everyone's coming to Wembley Arena for you. Come across. I'm gonna. You know the answer. You answered it for me. I'm taking the show. Hundred percent. I'm. I'm taking the show too. Yeah. I'm taking. The Sorry. Show. Sorry, everyone who came to watch at Wembley. I'm, I'm not coming. <laughs> Similar, similar note. What's more pressure, a 90th minute penalty or a live freestyle? I think, I think the pen. Same. You know why? Because I think if you know your lyrics off by heart like that, it's not like, it's not like you just wrote them down yesterday and then yeah, you're yeah, going yeah. to do it. If you've if you got lyrics, whether it's 32 or whatever. The scenario has been done. You've, you've yeah, said it hundred times. It. You ain't taken that pen so I think, times. Yeah, I think. For me, it's pen. Yeah, the pen. I would say the pen, because I'm not yeah. on pen. So if someone put me on it 90th minute and I've got to score it, that's mad. Yeah. Yo, Mehdi, listen, it's been a pleasure, bro. Honestly, great chat. And uh, I feel like we've given the people some things to think on. No, thank you, Cam, man. Same, same with you. And um, I just want to say good luck on the first round of the FA Cup. Hopefully you get that win. I hope so too. Go to the second round. Yeah, I could, I could do with an FA Cup run, to be fair. So yeah, thanks for that, bro. No worries.